Spike Prime added this new large 11 by 15 square frame. It will help you to easily build simple and strong structures with, with the help of this single piece. We also have this smaller 7 by 11 square frame that will help you achieve the same purpose. Together with the existing 5 by 7 square frame, this family of frames will help you build more creative and stronger structures. To connect 3D structures easier, Spike Prime also now has this 3x3 three three biscuit connector to make it easier to connect large 3D structures together. <coughs> this is a new Spike Prime wheel. It has a diameter of 7 and a depth of 2. There is a larger wheel with a diameter of 11. Here is a caster, and this is the ball that goes with it. This is what they look like when they're together. These are the new Spike Prime gears. This is a double beveled 20 tooth gear. It has a round pinhole instead of an axle hole. It can only be driven by clutch teeth. This is a 28 tooth double bevel gear. This is the original double bevel gear family. As you can see, it's missing the 28 tooth gear. Now, with the 28 tooth gear, it's perfect. From 12 to 20 to 28 to 36, they are all meshed in parallel. Here we show you a summary of all the newly added Spike Prime parts, including the Technic parts that we mentioned earlier and the motors, sensors, and Spike Prime hub, plus the bricks with axle holes and the wire clips. We also put down the dimensions and part numbers for your reference. This is a full Spike Prime set inventory. Here is a sample Spike Prime robot built with the Spike Prime and expansion set. Here is a breakdown. This is the Spike Prime parts being used in the FLL City Shaper mission models. Enjoy the rest of the video.